What up, this is Rama Screen covering movies, TV, and entertainment, and here's my review of Netflix's new movie, Spencer Confidential. Hey, before you watch this review, please subscribe to my channel, press that like button, and ring that bell so you can get notified whenever I post new videos. And if you would like to help support this channel, please do so at patreon.com slash ramascreen. That's patreon.com slash ramascreen. Let's rock this. First up, I would like to say thank you to Netflix for granting me the screener to this new movie. Okay, raise your hands if you're old enough to remember one of the best private investigator shows in the history of television, Spencer for Hire, starring the late great Robert Ulrich as Spencer and Avery Brooks as Hawk. Ah, good times, right? So basically now it's Mark Wahlberg and Winston Duke who have the honors of playing those respective iconic characters in this action comedy, which I gotta admit, Spencer Confidential is pretty fun. I had my doubts at first, justifiably so, because the last cinematic experience that director Peter Berg and Mark Wahlberg collaborated on was Mile 22. And you remember how that one went. Boy, one of the worst movies of that year. But Spencer Confidential is surprisingly enjoyable. Partly because I think Berg and Wahlberg with this one, they just kind of go back to the basics, if you will. It's your textbook dirty cop storyline with a twist that you can see coming a mile away. And yes, of course, loud decibels of Boston arguments and attitude. Based on Ace Atkins' best-selling novel, Wonderland, which uses the characters created by the late great author Robert D. Parker and directed by Peter Berg, Mark Wahlberg plays an ex-cop named Spencer who just got out of prison and is supposed to be a truck driver leaving Boston for good. But he gets roped into helping his old boxing coach and mentor, Henry, played by Oscar winner Alan Arkin, training a brash, no-nonsense MMA fighter, Hawk, played by Winston Duke, who's convinced that he'll be a tougher contender than Spencer ever was. But when two high-profile police officers turned up murdered, Spencer and Hawk take it upon themselves to investigate and bring the culprits to justice. I'm a big fan of Boston accents. <laughs> I'm not gonna try it here. But it's always good to see Mark Wahlberg practically returning to what he does best. So the humor and the brawls are tailored around that, obviously. His character is an idealist, but he also draws outside the lines. Although as far as performance goes, Mark doesn't really give us anything different from his usual self. But it fits perfectly for what the story requires. Now Winston Duke in this one, oh my god, I had no idea he was that big. He looks enormous and I don't think it's the camera that makes him appear that way. For the most part, Winston plays it pretty chill, like a lovable but incredibly tough giant that's hard to knock down. The tandem of those two actually works really well, but an argument can be made that it's a bit too easy for Hawk to jump on board the Spencer crusade. As I said earlier, you can see the twist coming a mile away. So don't come watching this movie expecting some monstrous reveal, because in many ways, Spencer Confidential is formulaic, it's like a throwback to countless other conspiracy dirty cop movies like it. The few criticisms that I can think about it mostly have to do with the fact that the movie's runtime is a bit too long, and the film also depends too heavily on flashbacks and montages. And then there's the same problem that I have with most movies directed by Peter Berg, in that the fights and the action sequences are shot and edited in a dizzying and unnecessarily excessive way. Instead of chaotic cuts and stitches here and there, sometimes how about pulling back and letting the audiences see the whole thing as it goes down, man? But other than those few downsides, I would not mind a sequel if it ever happened because Spencer Confidential is not a too shabby way to spend your Saturday night on at home when there's nothing else worth watching in the theaters. 